Cities are known for cars and people. Wildlife is also another component of cities. And it's one that should be explored. There is a term for wildlife that adapts very well to urban areas, suburban areas, and otherwise densely populated areas. Urban wildlife. This park is actually a very good place to start when it comes to urban wildlife. One important feature of urban parks are the trees. Wherever there are trees, it is very possible to find squirrels. This oak tree is a much better example of the kinds of trees you will find squirrels around. And there's a squirrel right there, digging possibly burying an acorn. Oak trees have acorns, making this particular tree a fitting place to find this squirrel. Said squirrel could be digging for acorns that were hidden much earlier in the year or last year. Or said squirrel could be getting ready to store one now. This squirrel is wild, but thanks to the oak trees in this park, it has found a good home in this park, in the middle of the city. It adapts well to the city because of the trees, and in particular the oak tree that it's in. There's another squirrel. And up front, Turdus migratorius, otherwise known as the American Robin, and another American Robin. It's quite fitting that there are birds hanging around this green space. Very fitting. The birds can always dig for their food in the ground, whether it's worms or ants or whatever they're going to eat today. This green space is a good place for these American Robins. And this squirrel, sniffing around, might be looking for an acorn that it buried. There is another aspect of urban wildlife, and that is the human impact. There is an important term to understand. It is called 
Sinanthrope. These ducks are an example of synanthropes. These are not domesticated animals. These are not domesticated birds. These are still wild animals. However, they benefit from being alongside people in this particular case. This used to be a canal. It is no longer used for industrial purposes. However, this artificial waterway built by people is finding another use. And these ducks have found a use for it. It is important to understand that these are waterfowl. Waterfowl love the water. They thrive on the water. They need water. Ducks, geese, swans, they are often found wherever there is fresh water. What used to be a canal what used to be this waterway is now a gathering place for the ducks. The ducks are benefiting from something that human beings built. It is important for ducks to be around the water and in the water. Ducks will go into water to clean their feathers, Water is a major aspect of a mallard's habitat. And in this man-made lagoon, these mallards are very much at home. There is another aspect of the synanthropic relationship. And it's right here. These are food pellets that you are allowed to feed the birds, or rather the ducks. These waterfowl can certainly survive in the wild. These are wild animals. However, they do benefit from their relationship with human beings, at least in this park. A stream going through an urban area, this urban stream. That is a water snake. Water snake is in hiding. Oh, and there's another snake. Another aspect of urban wildlife, feral animals. These pigeons are actually feral doves. These particular feral pigeons they have made use of this gravel bar. They're just sitting on it. And they're flying around. As this pigeon sits here perched along a railroad, it's important to understand how pigeons got out to the cities. These were often used as pets. And what happened was people were letting them go and they adapted to the cities. They were once kept as pets and now they are feral animals found in the cities. And that is just one of the aspects of urban wildlife.
a stream flows past this urban park. And in this park and around this stream, there are two herons. Water is part of a heron's habitat. And this stream provides that water. This stream is a fitting place to find these herons. People often build green spaces, parks in their cities as places to gather, places to go, as a retreat. It is also a place that some wildlife species go to. For instance, in this glistening pond in the middle of this park, there are Canada geese. Being waterfowl, Canada geese make their home in places that are around the water. Wherever people have built ponds, Canada geese find places they can go to. grass in this park. Some of the geese are nibbling at it. It is very common wherever there are parks and wherever there is a lot of water to find Canada geese. Canada geese are a migratory species. A lot of them move according to the seasons. In recent times, many Canada geese are migrating less and less, but nonetheless, Canada geese migrate wherever there is water. Wherever there is grass, 